So what I went for in the end was this Hikvision DVR and this DVR allows you to do up to 4K resolution but I decided to go for HD rather than 4K and the cameras I went for with these Vivid HD what we call Sony Starlight camera and basically how they work is that they operate in really low light and still keep the footage like daytime rather than going into infrared this is the camera i've got which comes with the template the instructions comes with um, some screws and wall plugs which I won't be using, I'll be using my own. And then there's a little Allen key, should you need to get into the camera. I guess that's probably because some of them have got SD cards on. So then you've got the four screws at the back. I've gone for gray. You undo this, there's this piece, and then the camera which you can move around this denotes the bottom of the camera view and this will move around so that it's not in the way of where you want your lens i've unscrewed that already and that's what we we've got and then on the camera this is the bit that's going to go inside my junction box there's four different types of signal you can have with these cameras you just take this off and it states that in the first 10 seconds of applying the power to it that you've got to press this button one of four directions for your signal uh, I don't know if you can see that mine is TVI so when I put the power on I'd have to pull it to the right count to five and then release Although I'm not sure whether you actually need to do that or not because my system says it's plug and play but I'm not taking any chances. Here I am testing one of the cameras for the first time in the dark and I'm quite impressed. All I did was work out whereabouts on the house I wanted the CCTV cameras. I wanted to cover my driveway with footage. I wanted to cover my front door. So you said the front door. I wanted to cover my uh, side alleyway. And I wanted to cover my garden. You get these templates that come in the camera. And I just mark the holes on the brickwork. I just use one of these which I hammered through the template to make the four, four holes in the wall. Drilled them and I put my own wall plugs in rather than the ones they give you. And rather than using the screws that they give you, I'm using these outdoor decking screws which will last and then I go in instead. So I can protect my system where the camera attaches to the extension wire to get it to my box I bought these little waterproof junction boxes so you've got these little rubber bits where you cut for your wire to go in and wire to come out and you can actually remove these and put them around your wire because the switch on the camera is quite a big unit and then there's even these little bits that go over your screws and then the cap goes on and it's sealed. These are the screws on the wall where the camera is going and I've measured the distance using the wire that comes with the camera to where I'm going to put my junction box. So I just get some wall plugs in. Just putting my junction box on with the two bits at the bottom. As you can see, you can just push these out. And then leaves you the big hole to put everything through. 
you can just cut these to go around the cable pop it back in for now pop the uh, caps stop any more to get into it temporarily put the uh, pickup back on this is a bit you got to be really careful. I've just located my four screws and the camera is just hanging loose. But I'll make sure I get that wire in that when I tighten this up, otherwise I'll pinch it against the metal casing. All the casings on this camera are metal. Okay. I'll tighten the camera up and then pop the wire in the top of that. Okay, I'll try and video some of this just to give you an idea. So I've got this, I'll pop that back on. See that moves. Might have to hold it. And then you've got the ring that you screw in, which goes across like that. And this is actually the hardest bit of putting these cameras on, just getting this to screw on without cross-threading it. So a little tip, put a bit of washing up liquid on. Okay, now I've got that on fully. It's tight enough to grip the camera in wherever you place it, but it still does allow you to make small adjustments knowing that this is the bottom so with me i'm looking across like that roughly i'm now going to get this wire take it up into that junction box in case it rains okay this is the rubber bit at the bottom what i'm going to do is cut okay all i've done so what i said i'd do is i've cut it there taking a, that top little nipple out and now I can put that round my wire and put it in my junction box. You can see chuck that over now and that will fit in the hole in these. Okay this little button cover needs to come off for it to fit in and then when it gets on the top it can go back in and that will it in there and I just squeeze this through just a bit of rubber well, I'll get it squeezed through and there we have it quite neat and I will put a bit of sealant on there before I finish the job just neaten the job up Junction box for that camera. Junction box for that camera. What makes your life a lot easier when you fit in CCTV is to take the wires up into the house via the socket board. So this bit here, I'm going to be drilling through that and I go up in the loft and feed the wires through in the loft. Here's the hole I drilled through the soffit board. I managed to put uh, the wire for both cameras through the one hole, both the side alleyway and the rear garden. I used a 16mm spade bit to drill the hole in the soffit boards. And reason for that was these connectors have got to fit through it. So I popped that one through first. And then the second one, which is smaller, went through afterwards. So there was no problem at all. In the corner of the loft. <laughs> I've got some in.
All four camera wires come from different parts of my loft down into this hole which leads to the DVR. This is the back of the DVR recorder. Now you can see I've got my four cables that go up into the loft to the cameras. So these cables consist of two bits and you can see it helpfully labels them for you. So you know this goes into the back of the DVR. That's where the video data goes. If you follow it down to here, the second part of that cable clips in here to a power unit where all four cameras power units go into there to a power supply but they're not plugged into the back of the outside CCTV cameras yet. So the other things at the back of the uh, DVR unit is this is for your mouse, USB for your mouse, the mouse and that comes with the unit. This is a HDMI output to go to your monitor. It's also got a VGA and we've also got audio out as well because channel number one which is the first camera has audio as well so if you want a doorbell type camera or a camera with audio this is my um, LAN cable to the network this is the power cable and that's your power button. This is the front of the DVR so you can see it's got a USB port there for putting a USB stick in for recording footage. Because my DVR is really far from my modem router and I want to have a good connection I've gone for a wired connection and basically the LAN cable goes into one of these extender flex plugs that plugs into your electricity supply and takes the Wi-Fi that way down the electricity supply. And here's the uh, the other one which goes into my router. Okay, I'll put a high ladder at the moment. I've tidied these up a bit and there's the hole in my soffit board that the wires are going through. And once I'm happy with that, I'll uh, I'll seal it all up. Get some clear sealant. So all my wires are plumbed in on the other side. Got my camera wire, and that's the power wire for the camera, and that's the coax. So I'm trying to do this whilst I'm filming. Just going to take that plastic bit off there it's for protection oh, okay, there we got it you can see that goes in there might have to put the camera down yeah twist that round it locks in. Now I've got, once I put this in, I've got 10 seconds to push it. This is TV, I'm going to push it that way, out to the right, for five seconds. Take the cap off, which I'll need to go back on. So I just put these two in. Okay, and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. Pop the cap back on. And I'll tuck those in and put the lid on. 
like so. Get my lid. There we go. Job's a good one. This is the ladder I'm using, the three piece aluminium. For the uh, really high bit of the socket board. Okay, both cameras are plumbed in. And the wires are neatened up. I just need to put some sealant under there now in that hole. And then a couple of bits just underneath. This is the sealant I use to seal up the uh, soffit boards and underneath the junction boxes. Just squeezed a bit of clear sealant. And that's it cleaned up a little bit more to look a bit more respectable. Here's an example of where I drilled a hole in the soffit board to get into the loft and put the camera wire up This is the front door camera Goes up through there into the soffit board. I changed the original wide angle lens camera for this very focal one, and as you can see, there's two little screws one for focus and one for zoom, and you can zoom the camera in more but then you need to adjust the focus. So it allows you to zoom in quite considerably and basically, rather than sort of having this view, it allowed me to basically do that with the CCTV camera. What I'm basically doing in these photos is using live footage from the CCTV on the phone app so that I could make slight adjustments to the camera to um, sort out the zoom and the focus. Here's all four cameras on the monitor screen. Here's just the one very focal camera and I'm zooming in on the screen. Here's an example of a wide angle camera on the front door. Okay folks, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, installation video. If it's helped you out, please let me know in the comments. If you liked it, please uh, click the uh, thumbs up button on YouTube and subscribe if you fancy any more content. My next video is going to be going through the actual software of the DVR and how to use it, how to uh, look at footage, etc. Happy days.